Lacey's story is my favorite. It always has been. At its core, this is a love story. It's a story of a woman's courage who would do almost anything to save her husband's life and sanity. Lisi is a different thing for me. It's very close to my heart. I had pneumonia around the year 2000 and came really close to stepping out. When I came home from the hospital, my wife had cleaned out my study and I thought to myself, I've died, I'm a ghost. And the idea for Lisi's story came from that, particularly the idea that writers when they make things up, they go to a different world. I wanted to tell the story that was in the book, but I wanted to make it better. I thought if somebody was gonna mess it up, I used to tell my wife, nobody's gonna mess it up but me. The story of Scott's childhood, when he finally tells it, is particularly horrific. He retreats into this fantasy world. Booyah Moon is a secret place. It's a place that's very, very beautiful, and at the same time, very dangerous. It's a very scary story in a lot of ways. It's scary in a supernatural way, but it's also scary because there really are dangerous people out there. Lisey story could only have come from the mind of Stephen King. It's beautiful and haunting and romantic and horrifying. When I think on Lisey's story, I can think on Stephen King and how is this connected with his life. It was a lot of pressure, too. We wanted to make sure that we did him justice and that we did the story justice. I'm a visual writer. I'm interested in the power of the imagination. We can talk about it as otherworldly and fantastic. He's like, oh, no, it's real. It's real. <laughs>